Hello everyone, my name is Vladimir Renchev and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can add a Zen Blazor components to your Blazor server application. So I have a Blazor server application created by Visual Studio. It is the default one with uh, the pages for fetch data, counter, there's a survey prompt, uh, custom component. And now I want to add Zen Blazor components to this application. To do that, I will follow the instructions from our getting started page in our Blazor demos. So the first thing you need to do is to add Zen Blazor NuGet package to your app. You can do that from Visual Studio. Let's add some NuGet packages and I will search for Rzen. And here is a Rzen Blazor package with the components that you need for your app. Press install button. Accept and a Zen Blazor package is added to your app. Let's continue with the rest of the getting started instructions. So we need to add two namespaces, two usings in our imports razor. First one will be using Kurtzen, and the second I will just type it Kurtzen Blazor. Now we need to include a team. For example, I will use our material based team. We need to do that in our host file. You can link it, for example, here, after the connection. Let's now include the JavaScript required by, by our components. Again, this can be done in our host CH HTML. We can add it after Blazor server JavaScript at the bottom of the body here. Okay. And now we are ready to use a component. Let's, for example, add Razen button to our index page. I will simply paste our example uh, from the getting started instructions and I will check if the button will work as expected. Press the button and the handler was invoked. Let's now add a special components to our Blazor application, the dialog, notification, context menu, and the tooltip. To do that, you need to register first these components in your application main layout. Let's do that here. You can simply put them on the top of the content in the main layout. And now, we need to register the services uh, in your program CS. Here you go. So now we have everything needed to use a dialog, notification, tooltip, 
and the context menu service in our pages. To do that, we should inject the service. of service in our page and later let's change later we can do for example confirm from a button click and let's try to check if the dialog works as expected. Okay, press I. And now, if you press OK button, the result will be true. And if you press Cancel button, the result will be false. And our dialog service works as expected. This can be done again with for the notification service, tooltip service, and the context menu service. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.